Vivo has a tool that works with osteoarthritis for dogs, perhaps cats, horses as well. With me is the CEO, John Lai, to uh, bring us up to date on this study that was just released. So set the stage. Uh, what was this study and then what did it tell us? So we have a series of studies going related to horses, dogs, and cats. And this one was related to torn cruise shifts in dogs. So it's a very serious injury. It's like a human being tearing their ACL. Okay. So the data that came out was quite impressive and veterinary doctors are really surprised by how well it did. So basically, we set the study at 25% improvement in pain and mobility. That was your goal? Yeah. Okay. Well, we wanted to show beyond that. So 64.5% so was beyond. So generally, when you're having a therapy or some type of pharmaceutical product for osteoarthritis or something like that, if you have a 5% improvement, it's considered really good. So we set the hurdle much higher I to show this is quite disruptive, dramatic for the industry, and we accomplish that goal. The second cohort will be done in October, and what that means is a verification of the data. Mm -hmm. And we, we feel with that, uh, it, it will help a lot of dogs and other animals because of the fact, generally, the procedure is surgery. You don't have a choice. Just like with humans, you tear an ACL, it's surgery. Okay. We're, we're giving opportunity for a high percentage of these animals that does, won't need surgery, they can get back to normal with PT. Okay, and this is your spring technology, right? So yeah. explain that, like, how does that work? So one of the major advantages we have over the competition is spring is a naturally derived product. So it mimics cartilage and tissue. It's like an extracellular matrix. And in previous interviews, we talked about regulatory tailwinds that will help us. Mm. And we've seen that recently uh, with some of the racing commission. They basically said if you're using a synthetic lubricant, uh, polyacrylamine, your horse cannot race for six months from injection. And our product is the standard two weeks. So, so we're going to see a continuation of adoptions in the different disciplines other than horse racing. As well on an international basis, we believe that can be a big tailwind. So our product is meeting the need of where the veterinary doctors and human doctors want to go is to go natural. Okay. Yeah, because natural, you're not going to have side effects. Right. With pharmaceuticals, you have side effects, and if you're using um, like cortisone shots, steroid shots, it tends over time to weaken the tissue, mm -hmm. so actually doing more damage over time. Over time, so yeah. it solves a problem immediately, but then over time it really yeah. does. Yeah, it really so, provides long-term benefit. Um, now there's also something in a couple of weeks that you'll be unveiling as well. What is yeah. that? Yeah, so actually a couple of our veterinary doctors that are doing a study in hip dysplasia, they're actually doing a presentation at the International Veterinary Pain Management, which is a society, a group or organization of veterinary doctors that specialize in rehab and pain management. So they will be doing a wet lab demonstration of using spring in the hip application and other applications and talking about the success they've been having with the product outside of the study. Okay. So that was one of our missions and goal when we did our NASDAQ uplift and capital mm -hmm. raise was to do much more podium presentations because that's very important to veterinary doctors because that's part of the continued medical education requirement. I see. So when they sit at these conferences, they're able to get credit, but they learn something new and it's more likely to adopt that way. And you also give the salespeople that are working for you something to point to saying, hey, have you, have you seen this mm -hmm. latest data? And it's very important for us to drive now the small animal side of the market mm -hmm. uh, because 90% of our sales is equine. Right. But now we have the medical evidence to support statements we've been making. Yeah. Now it's easy to get these people on board, the veterinary uh, So spring first started with horses. Yeah. And now the dogs are coming, the studies are showing promise yeah. there, it sounds yeah. like. And then cats yes. uh, is the next target. So where does that stand? So I'm happy to say the CAT study's completed. We don't have the data, we can't announce the data, but we expect them, we've been accepted by one of the top medical journals for feline to publish there, which is very, very cool because to get in those top journals, you gotta show some pretty good evidence. So once again, I expect that to go show good data. I think it'll be, uh, 
90 days okay. that we could see something that you can on talk that? about it. Yeah, well, yeah. not just talk, but have public information have, okay. disseminated. Yeah. Now, when do you think um, cat and dog owners might be able to actually use this? Well, dog just... owners right now can so use it. So they can. It. Yeah, okay. yeah. So we've been selling along, but we haven't pushed it because we didn't have the scientific data to support what Got we it. believe happened in the real world. Is I think we're well over 2,000 dogs treated and been doing really well, um, and we've had some cats treated by veterinary doctors already that we know we're doing well. So hopefully uh, by the end of July, the cat product will be out and be able to go forward. Um, Zoetis announced some numbers and it showed that their cat product, uh, their monoclonal antibody is doing extremely well, which yeah. is, bodes well for us because, you know, our product, uh, I feel does a very good job and probably better, but yeah. you know, I can't say that probably. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> um, and then, so let's say, what about humans? Would this ever be able to be used on humans? Yeah, so if you look at the lineup of studies that we got coming out, and we started the process funded by NIH in humans, so we've injected 145 humans, proven safety, proven that there's no autoimmune response and everything. That's how we got the human medical device designation. So as we proof up this data on the animal side, I feel likely that we can get fast track through the FDA under an IDE mm -hmm. application. Mm -hmm. So so probably within two years, if everything goes right, we could have a yeah. product ready for humans. And if you think about just the ACL part of yeah. it, how significant that is, if you got a partial tear a lot of professional athletes may not have to go through the surgery and they can be back playing in 90 days if yeah. everything goes right. So, so yeah, there, there's a lot of opportunity of not just moving the meter on the gauge on the meter, we're actually moving the meter. So, yeah. so we're well, excited about it. My husband's an athletic trainer, so yeah. familiar with the ACL Absolutely. and athletes and all that stuff. Yeah. Thank you so much, John. Great to get an update and um, great to hear about these encouraging dog results. And well, thank you, Jane. Yeah, we look forward. I know it's a big year for you, so we'll look forward to more updates. Yep. Thank you.